it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video I've got 10 sales for you in approximately 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to be starting with something that maybe the uh, OGs of reselling might um, get a bit of a laugh out of. Um, and also these are all in low to high price order. There's a really really nice sale at the end so be sure to stick around for that one. And if you like the content I'm doing then please do feel free and give it a like down below. So without further ado I'll start with this one here which is the Jacqueline Wilson hardback bundle. Now this photo area here is my oldest photo area. So that means we're talking two to anywhere from two to almost three years ago. Um, so these have taken a long time to sell um, and I've never removed them from my inventory mainly because I just think oh they'll sell at some point. I don't know whether I have some weird sentimental attachment to these or something but whenever I've been doing these kind of you know inventory clear out I've never got rid of these for whatever reason. I really don't know. But anyway these sold for £9.64 free postage. I was amazed they even got that to be honest uh, mainly because Back in sort of mid-2015, late-2015, when I was just getting into reselling, um, these were popular. Everyone was talking about Jacqueline Wilson, what was the other one, Trivial Pursuits and all that sort of stuff. Um, and they were, go you know, everyone was going mad over them. And you could, you could get a bit of money for them back then, but nothing you know, nothing major or anything, but everyone was like going mad over, oh yeah, I'm, I'll buy these up, da, da, da. and everyone was getting on the train of Trivial Pursuits and all that, and obviously then the market gets flooded, it gets saturated, and uh, yeah, they're not worth what they were once were, and they don't sell as fast either, so yeah, anyway, I thought I'd just throw that in there for a bit of a laugh for the older guys who maybe watch my channel, have been doing this for a few years, it's quite funny. Um, so yeah, they sell, they took a whole two to three years to sell. So Planet Earth, a complete series, uh, 9.98 I got for this, yeah that's right, 9.98. Um, and I paid 150 at the boot sale, brand new and sealed, a couple of weeks back, maybe two, three weeks back, something like that. Quite happy with this sale, however I did say in the haul video that I would have liked to pay maybe 50p or a quid for this instead of a £1.50. But I needed Amazon items, I've been really struggling on Amazon recently to get the, the kind of amount of items I need uh, to sustain myself on there. And that's starting to show in my turnover and indeed my profits. So obviously I need to get on it a bit more, get the ball rolling and get sending more stuff in. So that's why I picked it up for a little bit more. Still going to be profiting there of course, but Amazon fees are quite high. So, you know, I need to get these things for as cheap as possible, especially if I'm sending things in for maybe about a 10 or 12 quid. Really you need to get, be getting them for as cheap as possible. But yeah, that was that one. Still a nice little sale, bread and butter. Uh, Playmobil, another bread and butter sale, uh, Playmobil, uh, Playmobil green recycling truck, got this from the car boot again a few weeks back for £1, so it didn't cost me much, and I flipped that into 11 99 plus postage, probably within a week or something, not long, basically it's just all about what I'm learning now and what I've been learning for the past 12 months is anything is just all about pricing like I'm even starting to think like with antiques and collectibles and stuff like that it's just about pricing like they don't need to be like a really slow item you can just if you get your pricing bang on they can actually most things can actually sell quite quickly unless it's like a very 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 unique item that you know it really does need the right person to see but I even think in some circumstances with certain pieces of antiques and collectibles and stuff like that they can go really really quickly if you get that right price and that's what I'm seeing with my items when, when I'm listing certain items I'm seeing that I can just hit the right prices and get them out within a week and that's what it's about that's what I'm that's what I'm about these days, trying to get these quicker flips. Uh, next is these vintage, uh, just hand embellished sort of Chinese vases. Quite nice, they stuck around for a while. Got £20.39 plus postage, obviously that was a reduced price. I must have reduced them by 5% or 10% or whatever, because um, that is at a really odd price, like 0 0.39, but anyway. Um, I would have got these in an auction job, but I can't even remember which one. But they're probably not going to cost me more than three quid the pair, maybe four quid at a push. I really don't know, but it would have come in a, a wider auction job, lot, obviously, that I might have picked up for £10 for a box or whatever. So, yeah, quite happy with those. Took a little bit to sell, but I wouldn't say mega long, maybe four or five months. So not like, not like you know, years or anything like the Jacqueline Wilson books. Uh, next was this uh, Gillies Christie's of London 100% wool uh, Trolby hat. 
uh, as you can see here. Um, £23.74, £2.99 postage. Really, really happy with that. I would have got this in a charity shop, maybe two or three quid. Don't generally pay more than three quid. For, you know, I don't generally pay more than three quid for these. So it's not going to be more than that. It might have even been less. It might have been a two pound job, one forty nine, one pound, whatever. But as I say, it wouldn't have been more than three quid. £23.74 plus postage, so I was really, really happy with that. Hats are always worth picking up if they are a decent brand. If they aren't a decent brand, then you're not you're gonna struggle to get a tenner or anything like that for them. I mean, Matalan hats and stuff like that, I don't even bother with because it's just you're not gonna get money out of them really. I mean, if you did maybe a big job a job lot of them, maybe, but even then, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, so you know, uh, Christie's of London, Dun and Co, Lock and Co. I always go on about these kind of brands, and there's also like many many other vintage brands. Oh, Harris Tweed is obviously one, but you know, there's always like these uh, loads of different random brands as well that you might not know of, you might have never heard of, but they are actually decent money. So, yeah, anyway, so that was that hat, nice little hat sale there. Uh, Royal Cop Copenhagen Musling uh, Scal. I'm, I can't, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try and uh, recite that name or whatever it is. Um, but anyway, it's like a shell design um, glass vase, quite nice. Got this in a job lot, I believe this job lot cost, I do remember this because I did it on a haul video actually, or I was going to do it on a haul video, I can't remember which one. But I think that job lot cost me about £15 plus commission, maybe 20 quid, and it had cutlery sets in there, had some viners sets in there, had a couple of cameras in there if I'm not mistaken, and as I say this came out of it. I didn't get 29 99 I accepted a fairly low offer of 22 99 but I'm quite happy to get that out because it's been sat for a few months now, and I wanted that to go to its new owner really. I didn't want it sitting around forever. Um, as I say, I'm about kind of flipping these items, and that will have paid for the box anyway, as well as the viners and stuff. And I have actually sold some of the viners as well, so I'm now in profit, which is pretty decent. So yeah, that was that one. Quite happy with that. It's boxed as well. It's got this kind of marble effect box, which is pretty cool. Um, next is Lego City Arctic Ice Crawler, another Amazon sale. $34.99, I flipped this from an eBay snipe for £13, so obviously I did pay up for it because it was an eBay snipe, and of course it was Lego, you're not going to get Lego really, really cheap if you're sniping, um, but yeah, 13 quid into £34.99, I'd say not the best profit, but I was still happy with that, I needed Amazon items at the time, I was going to take that kind of uh, choice in buying that and then get it up there, and it sold within, I don't know, Probably within three weeks, three or four weeks, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but I think I sent it up in my last shipment, so mustn't have been much longer than that. Next was something really, really nice, which I've had for a while. This is a George Clues Chameleon Wear Art Deco, uh, sort of this like greeny blue effect design. Uh, vase, that's kind of why we call it chameleon wear. Well, I, I'm assuming it is. I don't know actually. I don't don't take any of that for don't even take any of that information because I don't know. But I'm assuming that because it's kind of a ripply blue and green effect, it looks like the skin of a chameleon, and that's why we called it chameleon wear. I don't know, so don't take my word for it. But I'm just assuming that seems the most likely reason, basically. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Uh, Art Deco, obviously, 1920 to 1939. I know I got it wrong in a previous sales update. I said that Art Deco was 1910 to 1939. It isn't. It is 1920 to 1939. And I'm kicking myself for getting that wrong in my previous sales update. But anyway, uh, really nice uh, piece, this one. 37.99 plus postage. I did come down from about 40, 40 quid, um, but this did take a long time to sell. But I was going to hold out because this is such a cool piece. Um, as you can see here, Chameleon Wear, Clues & Co Limited. Really, really nice piece. Uh, can't say enough about it. I really love the style of it. Um, and I actually got this in a job lot of loads of different sort of Art Deco ceramics. I believe I paid 25 plus commission, 25 or 30 plus commission. But there was loads of stuff in there. There was like two boxes worth of stuff. So I'm quite happy with that. That obviously pays for the job lot. The only issue with... Uh, getting actually getting back to sort of this slow sales kind of thing is with um, studio pottery it is actually quite slow. These are the kind of items that you are just looking for that one buyer of, and those kind of items are just slow. Um, so I think that even if, if I did price this, you know, vastly cheaper, it would go quickly because someone would bite my arm off for it. But I think that if you want to get a decent price for it. 
you know, it is going to be a slower sale because you're looking for that right kind of person. Unless, you know, there's those circumstances where people have a saved search set up and even if you're, you know, a fairly high price and they just want the item for their collection, they may still buy it anyway, so you've always got that right place, right time kind of thing going on. But anyway, this certainly wasn't that. It took a long time to sell. Uh, next was this Vintage 1927, Now We Are 6. Uh, A.A. Milne, uh, Winnie the Pooh book, and this actually uh, made me think because there's a poem book, and this is a poem, this is a, a poem book basically, with poems in, and there's a book that's just come out by Russell T. Davis and someone else on Doctor Who, and it's a poem book called Now We Are 600, and that's where we must have got the idea for the name from, from this Now We Are 6, um, from obviously A.A. A. Milne. So that's really cool that I found that out from actually picking this book up. So now I know where they got the name from or their in inspiration from for the Doctor Who poem book. Anyway, that's besides the point. That's just me rambling about Doctor Who. Um, so 49 quid on bids plus postage. I paid £10 plus commission about four or five weeks ago for three boxes of vintage books and maybe even antique books actually from the auction. Uh, and yeah, that just pays for it all, and I've got loads left to sell, so I was really, really happy with that. Really nice sale. As you see, as you can see there, 49 quid plus postage, and that just puts me way into profit on that on that haul, really, on a, a book. So it just shows, you know, there's things at the auction that people just leave behind. You can get them for fairly cheap, and you can make some really, really good money on them. So yeah, really, really happy with that book. Then the final sale that everyone's been waiting for, that I've been saying, yeah, this is a great sale. It really is a great sale. It is this Mattel, brand new in the field, friends seen it, um, and I got 169 uh, euros, point, well, 169 euros and 78 cents. I was trying to think of a word. Uh, I, I wanted to say pence, but it's not, it's cents. Uh, 169.78 cents. Um, for this brand new and sealed Mattel, friends seen it. I couldn't believe it because of the time of year. Um, just like that price for a brand new and sealed friend seen it is incredible. The highest price I've got uh, like a year ago in quarter four was like 100 quid or something or 110 quid. So to get 169 euros, I don't know what that is in pounds, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not far off like one to one so it might be like 140 150 quid something like that but really really cool price uh, and obviously all it is is a brand new and sealed friend seen it it's nothing like special or anything let's see if i can zoom into that it probably go it probably fade oh no you can't really anyway you, i'm just trying to zoom into that picture a little bit um, but obviously, you know what it is, it's friends seen it, we've all seen them, them around. I paid 20, I did actually pay up for this, I paid 25 quid for uh, sniping last summer. So I did pay up for this and it did take a long time to sell. Uh, I sent it up at Christmas time though, so I've not inc incurred storage for it, fees for an entire year. Um, but yeah, really, really cool price on that, really, really happy with that sale. Even though I did have a bit more of an investment in it, it just shows that, you know, paying up for items that will give you a better return is definitely worth it. And I've always known that. And I know that a lot of you guys know it too, but it is definitely worth it. And I'll leave it there, guys. I won't ramble any longer because I know I'm getting into that territory of rambling and just going off on one, going off on a tangent. So if you did like it, please do give it a like down below. If you have any comments or queries, as always, please pop them down below in the comments box. And I will see you in the next video. And also, if you have haven't subscribed please do so um, and yeah you can see more regular content from me I try and do two or three videos a week kind of minimum but I like to put out four videos a week if I can but I don't always get there so uh, but just know there'll always be some regular content on the channel if you do decide to subscribe anyway I'll leave it there guys thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one